Hey guys, so today what we're going to be looking over is an AI motion capture solution called Plask. Um, and what it's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to take footage, either live or pre recorded, um, of some kind of performance, whether it's walking, singing, dancing. Um, and it's going to allow us to generate a um, animation from it to use in our 3D environments or however we please. So um, all we have to do is create an account with this Plask um, company um, and then click get started. That then throws us into this uh, user interface um, where just to run over it, um, We've got on the side here our library. So this is where all of our animations which we generate will show up. It's also got our mannequins, uh, uh, 3D models of our characters. So if I pull this out, as you can see, we've kind of got a Unreal-esque character here, all rigged up already for us, so it's super easy. Um, we can also add our own if you've got them in the right formats and what have you. And then down here at the bottom, we've got a timeline where we can scrub through the animations which are generated. You can also edit them We're in this panel over here. And we can also um, tinker with our, our rigging and everything like that. So let's get into like generating some bits. Um, so if you go to the top here, just click add. Um, I've got a little piece of footage um, which is ready. So you just say confirm, and as you can see, it scrubs through, sort of checking over the video. And then we have the option to trim it a little bit short if you're only trying to capture a certain point. But I'm pretty happy with this 20 second video, so we can just go extract motion, give it uh, a name. So I'm gonna go with Danso1, because it's really creative and different. Um, and then it's going to extract our motion. Whilst we wait for this to do its thing, um, I've been messing around with a couple different pieces of footage. It definitely doesn't support um, more than one person being in the footage. It doesn't like that. I mean, I'm taking a bit of a risk with these mirrors in this one, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, it also isn't a massive fan of, you know, camera moves you want it to be a really static camera really because as the camera moves the animation can drop through the floor and it, it just makes a little bit of an issue for it so yeah um they're the two main things it also likes to see the full body um so that's always a good thing to keep in mind but other than that it's quite flexible i mean i've done ballerinas and stuff in here and it's it's um, held up even with the long skirt, so it hasn't even got the accurate lines. So it all depends, I think, on sort of what your footage is. So we'll see how much longer this takes. I might cut here. Okay, guys, so it's finished generating the animation, as we can see here in our library tab. I've got Danso1 there. But before I actually apply that to my mannequin and actually have a look over this, um, animation i want to just export my te my bind pose to unreal because that so we're going to be taking this the whole way through to unreal as the title probably suggests um so i'm just going to simply export this we can choose our different uh formats uh, and double check it is the one we want to export bind pose so then we just export this i don't think it should take too long so yeah there we go and as you can see, it automatically names it the same as your model, and it will also chuck it straight into your downloads. So I'm just going to change this to flask underscore find pose. That will become useful to us afterwards. So let's do the fun bit of attaching our um, generated animation to our character, which is as easy as just dropping it like that. Um, down in the timeline at the bottom here, I'm gonna add it another second, because our uh, the hundreds a little bit short for me. And let's see what we've got. So 
as you can see very much following the same uh, dance as the footage from before I mean there's slight slippage but from a single footage input I mean it's it's not it's not bad results at all really consider it took maybe two and a half minutes to generate this so yeah definitely happy with that so that's all generated it's rigged and everything so we can go here now go export dance at 01 and then export again and this may take a little bit longer okay so that's finished exporting so we should now have in our downloads both the bind pose which I exported before and this mannequin here is going to be our dance 01 animation so that's cool we you know them two are there now so let's move over to our friend unreal and import first the bind pose so just want to check that's all good yeah looks good to me uh, and yeah cool so that works um, if we then uh, where's it gone now import our dance our animation uh, check so it's going to be put to the same skeleton which is cool the animations coming in all good okay wicked so if we just jump back to um, Pask I don't know if we'll be able to see it now but it's it's a, a T pose and I believe by default in Unreal the Unreal Mannequins and A pose so what we have to do is change our Unreal Mannequin to be a, to be T pose which is a pretty normal generic thing we have to do um, so I have a bit of a quick quick fix to do it I always have a T pose animation I'll select that as the preview animation and then from there um, I'll go modify pose and then click use current pose I've already done this on my one so that's all done for me you also want to go in the retargeting manager you want to select your rig and select a uh, humanoid so as you can see I've done that mine's sitting all happy and ready um, and all, all rigged up so that's that easy ready to go um, it may take you guys a little bit longer because I've kind of quick uh, shortcutted that quite a bit but basically game into a T pose and you're ready to go also a thing which happens with this Plask when we import the animations is if I open this one here you can see that he's on the wrong axis for us so just come down to your import rotation change that to 90 and if we click reimport animation as we can see he's quite happy so that's that's good so that's that bit done now we have to edit the animations uh, whole setup so he's already in the A pose so that's all good uh, in the T pose sorry so that's all good um, we want to select the humanoid rig for him and then again another little shortcut I've done I've already mapped the bones we need um, but I will leave this on screen so you guys can pause and set up yours to be the same so that's all of them ones oh that's all of them okay that's enough time for you then um, so yeah that's the rig set up so let's save and then we can close this and now we want to uh, retarget this animation from Plask for our Unreal mannequin. This could be a Paragon asset, it could be, you know, whatever you please. So we're going to come to retarget anim and we're going to do this duplicate anim assets and retarget. So as you can see, it's blank in this, this um, source panel. 
which is not ideal. I found a quick way of replace of fixing that. I just pull him out onto the scene and then duplicate and we can see him there. I mean it's a little bit of a uh, funny one but that's what it is. So anyway we can see the Unreal Mannequin here and him they're roughly the same uh, typos so then let's just click retarget and as we can see the Unreal Mannequin is now doing our Plask animation. So if we go into play we can see both simultaneously dancing along very nicely. So that's sort of the walkthrough of how to get from Plask AI motion capture into Unreal or retargeted and ready. Obviously there's a little bit of slipping but for an AI motion capture solution which is free as well very cool. So let me know how you get on let me know what you want to see next and yeah just let me know if you run into any issues. I'll try and help out in the comments. Thank you, guys.